For much of American history, the gay and lesbian community was forced to live in secret, contributing publicly while hiding their personal lives. For the next few minutes, we'll discuss a group that is working to chronicle the history of the GLBT community, specifically for Latinos. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum. Joining me is David Perez, president of the board of directors of the Latino GLBT History Project. David, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me, Robert. So I want to talk for a few moments about this museum that's online. And for those of you who are watching at home, the website is www.latinoglbthistory.org. How did this come to be, David? Well, the project was founded by Jose Gutierrez, a local activist here in Washington, D.C., in 2000. And we really work to preserve and educate about the history of LGBT Latinos in metropolitan Washington, D.C. We have a collection starting from about the 1980s of different LGBT Latino activists, the first local and national Latino LGBT organizations here in Washington, as well as from national immigration and LGBT marches. So David, is it, is it artifacts? Is it uh, the chronicling of the history or the combination of both? What is it physically? Sure, a, co a combination of both. We have a storage space where we house physical archives that we bring out for different temporary exhibits. We host at places such as the Human Rights Campaign, the local DC LGBT Center, um, and these exhibits um, have posters, have um, dresses and belts from drag personalities, a real collection of documents as well as banners from marches, a lot of different activities and um, types of things that can be seen in person as well as different photo exhibits that we display online. You know, I love museums and the reason why is because it's, it, it forces us to remember who we were as a community yeah. uh, or perhaps to learn about a community mm -hmm. that perhaps we didn't grow up with right. and also to remind us of the struggle that still needs to continue. Mm -hmm. And speaking of which, I want to talk about the present and I want to sure. talk about the GLBT community as it relates to the history makers today. Um, we have heard recently uh, that marriage uh, equality has passed in certain states, mm -hmm. for example, in Maine, um, as well as per in, in Maryland and mm -hmm. so forth. Talk to us about that and how important that is, not only for the, just for the GLBT mm -hmm. community, but for American society as a whole. Sure. Well, you know, I think we had a unique role, our organization, to play in this. We uh, launched a coalition this year with um, the Latino GLBT History Project, as well as Equality Maryland and um, Casa de Maryland, where we fought together to advocate for the DREAM Act in Maryland and for marriage equality. And, you know, I think, we, I think most people know what marriage equality is now, but for our viewers at home that are just perhaps hearing mm -hmm. about the DREAM Act or may have heard about it, sure. but they don't know exactly what that is, explain to our viewers. Sure. The DREAM Act allows for fairness and equality around education for all students in Maryland. Um, if they went to high school in Maryland, they can also access public education in Maryland for in-state tuition. And uh, you talk about Maryland specifically, but perhaps if someone is watching this program that is not in the state of Maryland, how does this or how could this affect them in their own home state? Sure. Well, this law is particularly to the state of Maryland, but there also is the proposals in Congress for um, the DREAM Act nationally that would help all students who come, came here to the U.S. as young children and don't have um, documentation currently. So we you know, are fighting nationally as well different Latino LGBT groups across the nation for um, this right for, for David, talk to me about the history makers today. Um, is there anyone that comes to mind that you think in, in, the, in the Latino GLBT community that is paving the way for younger generations? Can you think of a, of, of a household name or anyone like that, sure. that you can think of? Sure. We awarded a couple great heroes at our recent celebration, October 19th. Um, Russell Roybals, the Deputy Executive Director of the National Gay and Lesbian Task Force. Ingrid Duran and Catherine Pino of DMP Creative Solutions. Um, also, Bambi Salcedo, a transgender Latina activist in L.A. These are some real great leaders who are uh, paving the way for us. All right, David Perez. Well, thank you very much, and keep up the good work. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And, of course, thank you for joining us for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.